Hello. Today we're diving into an animation breakdown. The one hour version is up on Patreon if you want to check it out. There's also some VFX, sound effects and some wallpapers there. And I also added a coaching tier. So yeah, thank you for watching and let's get straight to work. First things first, we open up Photoshop and pick the shot we want to animate. Once we've chosen the right frame, we use the pen tool to carefully cut out each character and separating them from the background. I recommend using pen tool uh, since it gives the best and most precise results, at least for me personally. After we cut out the characters for the background, we move on to the next step. And the next step is cutting out the body parts into different layers. This way, uh, when it's time to animate, we can move each part independently and it makes the motion look more dynamic and realistic. To fill in the gaps left in the cutout layers, I typically use the Content Aware Fill. And feel free to experiment with the settings to find what works best for your specific shot. And if you need a tutorial for something specific, I also offer that on my Patreon. I've done tutorials on 3D camera effects, aura effects and other fundamental tutorials. Okay, now that we've separated the body parts, it's time to get to the fun part, and that's animation. This is where we bring our characters to life, and really start to see our hard work pay off. So let's open up the After Effects, and let's start animating. Okay, so here I used the Advanced Puppet Pin tool. It works just like the regular puppet tool, but with added benefit of being able to adjust the scale and rotation for each individual pin. And this gives us more flexibility and more options for creating dynamic movements. And right now I'm just applying these puppet pins on each body part that we previously separated. I think it's really important to have a vision for the shot and visualize how it's going to move before you start animating. The characters in Bucky Manga are usually drawn in motion already, so that helps me a lot. Right now I'm adding Bazirs and adjusting the graphs to make the movement smoother, which gives me a better control over the speed. It takes a lot of time to find the sweet spot, but it's worth it for the final result. I've also been considering streaming the process and sharing more behind the scenes content, but I might be a bit too shy for that right now, so let me know if you'd like me to do that. So around here I started to lose my mind a little bit from all the keyframes, but after two coffee shots I managed to make it work in the end. So I would say coffee is definitely optimal for animating. Also part 2 is already being animated and edited. And I have to say Jake, the voice actor, he really delivered once again. So I can't wait to show you the video. Baki, I won't hold back. Alright, I've skipped over some details of the animating part since the full video is available on Patreon. Now let's move on to the compositing. I start adding the color hue to the characters using my signature blue style. I know I should probably change it up soon, but I just really love the blue color. Next I add the background and try to change the colors of the background to blend with the character 
and try to make everything feel cohesive. Um, I try to make the scene feel more united, like the character is actually there, uh, with adding elements like shadow, smoke and lighting, as you'll see soon. And for the final touches, I usually focus on the color grading. This step is essential as it enhances the overall mood of the scene and ensuring that the colors work together. It helps to emphasize the atmosphere I want to convey. Whenever it's vibrant, energetic, uh, or something more subdued or dramatic, Proper color grading can really make a difference in how the audience perceives the animation. And there you have it. Uh, after this I usually move on to the sound effects, which can take a lot of time. Sometimes I spend an hour searching for the perfect sound effect, only to decide the next day that it doesn't quite fit. But that's okay, it's all part of the process. That will be all for today, I hope you enjoyed the breakdown. I didn't quite reveal all the secret sauce I used, but you can find those details in the uncut 1 hour version. For those who want to dive deeper into the process, let me know if you'd like to know more and what you'd like to learn. And as always, thanks for watching. I can't wait to show you the part 2 of this animated fight. I really think you'll enjoy it.